Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 679. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College of Scent link and you can download the workbook 673 to 682. Hey, we have an interesting situation here. Uh, we have a, um, we want to add up annual withdrawals from monthly withdrawals here. And the person that gave us the spreadsheet has done something with the formatting and they absolutely want it that way. So normally people see, oh, there's a, there's a 2005 there, and then they try to build some formula to calculate from all this transactional data the yearly amount. Now, so let's just say we try that, and we're like, man, it's not working. Well, if you click in the cell, you can see up here 12, 31, 2005. Click here, 12, 31, 2006. So someone has custom number formatted control one and you can see that the custom number format to take a serial date and just show the year part is YYY. You can actually just use this right here. But notice we could do whatever we want month slash and then there it is it shows you that. But nevertheless I'm going to click cancel. They've done it that way. So and we are required to keep that. So again we have two things here. One, here's some serial dates, and here is a single day in the year. So how do we build a formula to calculate the total amount for the year? We'll do 2003 method er, um, first, and then we'll do a 2010 710 method. We'll use sum product. Sum product's great because you can do a bunch of series of trues and falses. Now, there's something called a year function, so we'll use the year function only I could type. Let's do it down here. Year function. And it needs a serial number. Well, there's two things. These are serial numbers, and this is two. So I'm just going to say this right now, just for the first part of the formula. And you're going to highlight this and hit the F9 key and see, sure enough, um, F9, it'll give you 2005. So it, it, the year function, control Z, extracts from that just the year part. And then we say, is this year equal to the year, I'm having a very good uh, day here, of anything in this column? And I'm going to control shift down arrow and then F4 key to lock it. Now what this does is it gives us a series of trues and falses in this column. Once we get a, you know, this is 2005, so we'll get a true, true. We want the formula to go over and get the values from here. Now, right now, F9, that gives us trues and falses. I'm going to control Z. We really want those to be ones and zeros because we're going to multiply. The sum product can take array one times array two. So we get a bunch of zeros and then a one, a one. Well, if we multiply this whole column times this whole column, these will all be canceled out by zeros, but this will be a one times that number, one times that number, and sum product will add. We have to convert these trues and falses to ones and zeros, so I'm going to use double negative, and then you have to open parentheses. This, this is called a unitary operator. It gets um, calculated before that equal sign. So to force the equal sign to calculate first, you have to put it in parentheses. And then we simply do comma, and the second array is this. Control Shift Down Arrow, F4. Close parentheses. So there, it'll multiply ones and zeros times that. Control Enter. And I'm going to double click and send it down. I'm coming to the end and see, sure enough, it looks like it's working now. Let's do it in 2007 and 10. Now this formula is totally awesome, but if you have, you know, a gigantic workbook with uh, 30,000 rows, and say you have multiple criteria or something, this formula is pretty good. It's pretty fast, but sum ifs equals sum ifs. If you can substitute sum ifs for sum products because you have the newer versions much faster calculating. So the sum range, I love the screen tips on the sum if, different than the uh, sum if s with an s, different than earlier version sum if, much more polite. It tells you the sum range and then the criteria range, criteria one. So I'm going to get my sum range, control shift down arrow F4, comma, the first criteria range is going to be this date range, control shift down arrow F4. And then we have to get pretty tricky here. We have to think cleverly because what do we have? We have a single day. It is the last day of the, I'm sorry, this is the last day of the year, right? So what do we say? 
comma, well, there's two criteria. Everything that's going to be added here has to be less than or equal to December 31st, 2005. But it also has to be greater than or equal to January 1st, 2005. So we'll do the first criteria first. That one's easy. In double quotes, less than or equal to, because they're going to be December 31st or before, end double quote, ampersand this. And that way we have created our criteria. If I hit F9, you can see. And that's the serial number, of course, because dates are serial numbers. Control Z. Now what do we do for the next little bit? I have my, my range there. That's this, the date range repeated a second time for criteria range 1. It's funny, you know, we list the ranges multiple times and sometimes a lot more times, but it's still faster calculating than uh, some product. All right, criteria 2. Well, what are we going to do? We will use the date function. The date. Well, the date function's pretty nice. You can construct your own. Well, year, we got that. We'll just go year of this. And that's a relative cell reference. Um, and then month, so I comma. And you can see the month, that's 1, comma. Day, that's 1, close parentheses. Now, that is not going to work the way it is, because that would just say, <laughs> that's exactly equal to the criteria is equal to the date. But we need to do similar to what we did right here, but greater than or equal to in double quotes and then ampersand. So we've constructed our date here with using the date. Close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. Come to the last cell, see if it works. All right, so uh, 2000 and seven or ten, two thousand and three, and really the crux of the matter was we have serial numbers here, single day dates, and we had uh, this single date here, always the end of the year, like this was a, uh, for whatever reason they put that there, and we needed to construct uh, a yearly amount from that. All right, we'll see you next trick.